Today we have the microscopy lab and we are going to use two bacteria, Escherichia coli and Staphylococcus aureus, the mix of bacteria, the yeast and a part of onion skin. So for that we will need five slides like this and we are going to label them first so we have the labeling surface here and it is rough on one side and smooth on the other so we are going to use the rough one to label our slides So first one will be Escherichia coli, then we have Staphylococcus aureus, then we have bacterial mix, then we have yeast, and finally onion. So we start with the preparation of our samples and we take ten microliters of water and place them on the middle or in the center of the slide. So we place it here. And then using the loop, we are going to take Escherichia coli single colony and we are going to use the Bunsen burner so that we don't make our environment contaminated. So we take a small colony and it is now on the loop, so we transfer it. To the glass and making circular movements we just make this drop go a little bigger in diameter so we usually take a 5 tenge rough area and we spread it like this after that we use burner to kill the bacteria Next we do the same for Staphylococcus aureus and again we take 10 microliters of water, place it in the center of the slide obtain single colony of Staphylococcus aureus and again it's under burner so we take one single colony and spread it in the same area as Escherichia coli. After we've done it, we again kill bacteria and then we use the bacterial mix. In this case, we are just going to take the bacteria that were prepared before that. So this mix should include both types of bacteria. We take it and spread it as we were doing before in the area of about 5 to 10 tenge. You should be able to spread it easily because with the bacteria the surface tension is not the same anymore. We repeat the procedure with the yeast. So we take 10 microliters and spread it evenly on the area of about 5 tenge.
finally we have our onion sample. Uh, it won't take a lot of time, so we will do it later. For now we are waiting until the these areas are dried out so we can continue with the staining. So as you can see, yeast is already fine to go and it is dried out. As you can see now, the yeast sample is already dried out, so we can heat fix it. We rapidly pass the slide through the flame two, three times. So one, two, three. And we can place it on the... slide holder for further staining uh, steps. Okay, now you see the uh, that the sample of the Ishiriki coli sample is also dried out. So we also pass the slide through the flame two three times rapidly to heat fixate it. Now we have two samples that still are wet. Now we have Staphylococcus aureus also dried out and we also fix it by passing this light through the flame. Finally we have only slide with a mix of bacteria that is almost dried out. Okay, so now we have the last slide dried out and you don't see the drop there, so we also fix it. And now we can switch to the next step of staining. And the first step would be putting the crystal violet on top of these uh, slides. So we will be putting about 200 milliliters we need to cover all of these patches with the crystal violet so drop the crystal violet on top of these 
batches. And we need to wait for one minute. Okay, now it's done. And we wash it with water. We don't need the Bunsen burner anymore, so we turn it off and close the gas. So we remove water. So we place it uh, on the same place and uh, we apply it for one minute, about one minute. Okay, we wash it with water.
next step would be to decolorize the samples and to do so we use 95% ethanol So don't overdo that. Uh, wash it with the water. So we wash the alcohol with water so it does not over uh, decolorize our samples. We have final wash, uh, final stain. Now we are going to use saffronine and we we'll also apply it for 45 seconds. Thank you. 
now we can block dry them to do so we take the tea and gently place on it so that all of our samples are intact After that, we are going to use oil immersion to look these samples up.